What is going on guys? My name is Lexus and welcome back to the channel. I am super excited, super stoked to be showing you guys this 2021 Audi RS6 that we just purchased for the channel. That's right, we got a number four vehicle that we're gonna be modifying to a thousand horsepower. This sucker was such a pain to get. I had so many problems with the transport companies. I can literally make a video about it because it was a complete nightmare for 48 hours. But guys, it's so freaking worth it. Look at this bad boy. This is the most beautiful Nardo gray Audi color in my personal opinion. I had an RS7 now we got this bad boy right here sitting on 22 inch factory wheels Every freaking angle of this car is unfreaking believable like I, I can't stop smiling honestly but, And I'll tell you why because I literally just drove it for a few minutes and I gotta say this is again One of the main reasons why I love Audis in the German car and performance because it's just it's hard to beat guys But without further ado, let's get this video going Let's take it on the trip and uh, let's talk about the game plan for this uh, bad boy right behind us god the thing is so sexy so first things first guys yes you're not mistaken this is a wagon or a hatchback or as the germans love to car, uh, call it it's an avant which is a pretty fancy name of saying wagon and quite honestly this is like the most sexiest audi that they make in my personal opinion i had an r7 that was a 2018 nardo gray we pushed it to a thousand horsepower that was such an amazing car we had to get rid of it because we were having a third kid and the, the back then in the old generation c7s they didn't have a third row or a third seat in the back row so we had to get rid of it and i have been trying to locate that car ever since i know it's in ohio but uh, i know who even owns it but he will not sell it to me so it is what it is but this right here is the most beautiful rs6 that i have ever seen in my life i have been drooling over these cars ever since they came out because i'm a huge huge hatchback or wagon fan and quite honestly when i bought this car and it literally just got dropped off in uh 15 minutes ago i was like man dude i'm a little worried because i know sometimes wagons can be really big especially like e63s where they do really come out farther out there but this one has that sleek unique design in the back and as soon as i seen it i was like this is the perfect car guys just driving a little bit and of course we're going to get on the road i'm going to go over everything it's 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 unbelievable what it can do super comfortable now keep in mind this does have the 4.0 v8 twin turbo that they actually put in the earth says that they put in the rsqas they use it across the whole um uh, platform for volkswagens as well i guess you can say because they make audi and bentley's and lamborghini they make all those cars but this one puts out 591 horsepower, 590 uh, foot pounds of torque. So let's round it up to 600. And yes, it does compete with the E63S and with the M5 competition sport. It does have the least amount of horsepower, but quite honestly, with just a little bit of tuning, that bad boy right there can literally do some damage at the street and the drag strip. So of course that is the next video that's gonna be about. But right now, let me just show you the inside of this sick, sick Nardo Gray RS6. First off, carbon. This one is actually textured and you can feel the inlay. Like this is not like some gloss that they put over you can legitimately feel how it's woven in and i've never felt something like that in the door before this one does sticker for $120,000, so slightly expensive, but definitely worth it. And I actually paid over sticker for this used one with 10,000 miles, but that's just the way the market is. That was literally the cheapest one in the whole country, but I love the design of the seats. Super comfortable, heated, ventilated seats, and of course, this dash right here. Oh, look at all these three screens right there. Let me start this bad boy. Look at, did you see that, guys? Did you see the little speaker go down? Let me see if I can turn it. Oh, yes. I have always wanted a banging Olufsen system that did that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. So I do have an SQ7 at the house. This layout is a little bit different. This is a little bit more uh, pushed out, I guess you can say, than the SQ7. So this is more in your face. But I do love these screens. Both of them are, of course, touch screens. So that's awesome. Apple CarPlay, heated, cold seats. I, I mean, it's got everything. You even got panoramic or dual uh, sunroofs because it's a hatchback. So there's more space in here. I love the different designs, the RS modes. There's just so much to go over, guys. But today is just all about introducing this car. Uh, we'll do a whole like a review of the vehicle later there's not many of these out there guys and it, it's so sick man oh my god drop a like for the rs6 boys or for the wagon boys honestly i have to sit in the back let me see how much space is in this thing oh yeah dude i mean i got the seat pushed all the way back and i'm still good look at that what Oh, and I got my own sunroof. Now, the roof racks came with the car, so you, of course you can see them there. If anybody wants them, hit me up. I'm not a really a roof rack guy. I'm not going to be putting a ski box on there or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, if you want it, I'll give it to you. Let's check out the storage space as well. So, the main reason, another good reason why I got it, and uh, I had to talk my wife into it, is because to get the hatchback is because, well, if I'm going down to uh, South Carolina to get E85, 
in the RS7, it's a lot more slanted, so I would not be able to fit all the uh, cans in here. But with this space and with this mat, mat right there, this covers everything, so they can't even see all the goods I'm driving with. Uh, I can fit a lot of uh, cans in here, five gallon cans with the 85, so that's going to help quite a bit, guys. Let me rev it for you. You got to hear this bad boy. Keep in mind, it's completely stock and it probably has a rev limiter, uh, like a 3000 or something, but. But because the windows are dual pane or panel, whatever you want to call it, it's actually a double window mirror, whatever. Uh, it's so thick that you can't hear any sound from the uh, outside. So that's pretty cool when you're sitting in here and driving, you don't hear anything, but you do want to hear that exhaust and we are going to be working on that. Parts are of course already on the way. They were on the way before I even bought this thing. So uh, well, let's jump in the car. Let's take it for a spin guys. <laughs> Dude, what? Alrighty guys. So we are about to take off on the street. Before we do that, I got to give a huge shout out to Louisville Autoplex. My boy, Brian, Chris, all those guys, Parker, they literally have taken care of me for the sixth time now. This is my sixth purchase from them. I'm a thousand miles away from them. And unfortunately, I cannot drive or fly out there and get back in time for work and stuff like that. So they have always done so well, like to get everything and the whole process done quick. I mean, literally, I thought of buying this car. What? I want to say Friday of last week. And then uh, it was on the truck two days ago, which is uh, Tuesday. It was already coming to me within two days. Bank, everything was done. It's unbelievable, guys. So if you want anything, they got exotics, they got regular cars. If you're looking for something, I'm gonna put a link to their website down below. Hit them up, guys. You cannot go wrong. Ask for Parker, ask for Brian, and they'll take care of you because honestly, I trust them, man. I bought an E63S from them as well. That was fully modified. That sucker was super sick, but oh my God, I gotta say, dude, this thing is so freaking awesome. I'm so pumped. It drives so well. So I'm I'm gonna close this uh sunroof of course the fancy sunroof that it has and uh i gotta talk about one thing though like this thing it does not feel like a big car usually a wagon or something kind of like uh, you know as a crossover feels like it's just heavy it's hard to drive yes this thing weighs five thousand pounds but you do not feel it like it's so responsive with the steering wheel it, 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 i don't know man i freaking love it i think it's because the massive 285 inch wheels and uh 285 inch wheels 285 size tires and the 22 inch wheels all around i think it's a full square setup it just feels so freaking planted i love it the power output is insane i've always loved the gauges on this thing now like i said it is quiet in here so right now i'm in manual mode right i'm downshifting i'm already in fourth gear out of eight gears and you can't even hear it i'm at let's see third gear 3000 rpm second gear at 5000 right any other car it would be screaming right now but not in this thing now watch God, dude, the takeoff is so insane, man. So the thing you'll know, and I've driven the M5s, I've driven the E63S, uh, this car drives so much more comfortable than they are, so much more like refined, and it's awesome. Like, yes, you can get on it. It's a completely different animal, just like the Hellcats and Mopars. That's why one of the reasons I love it. But in this car, it takes it to another level of just straight relaxing if you put it in drive mode like I am right now. So it's not in RS mode. The suspension softens up. It just, it, it cruises, man. It's like an S-Class Mercedes. That's what I love about Audis. And why I'm so happy about these cars is the fact that first off, zero to 60 and literally, well, they say 3.5 seconds, but every journal and every website that has done tests on this car hit 3.1 to 3.0 seconds in zero to 60 stock stock tires everything like it comes from factory so this thing has so much potential and the other reason why i really love my audis and why i'm excited to be another one and that my wife finally agreed to let me get one is the fact that in my opinion and you got to drive all these cars to understand where i'm coming from is that they feel so freaking balanced like the way they respond like it's the perfect amount of power from factory and comfort and the steering and suspension everything is so refined and done right that you literally can't go wrong with this car like it feels so good like it's it feels wide and, and like spacious and open i mean i'm freaking relaxing with cool seats and ventilated seats going on right now but if i step on the gas pedal this sucker will literally take off unfortunately i can't do it right now because there's a dump truck in front of me and uh, i just got this car so <laughs> i ain't tried to wreck it yet uh, or ever uh but this thing is going to be at the track literally uh by the end of today so that will be the next video i literally cannot talk enough praise about audis and performance and everything that they do uh let's give this thing a little bit of juice stomp it in Oh, God, dude. 
something about the way the pedal feels on the on the foot in the Audi still. I don't know. You just gotta you gotta sense it for yourself to know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're coming up to a red light right now, so I am going to stomp on it. I don't know about launch control yet, so I'm gonna have to read up and learn all that before we go to the track tonight. I remember the farting noise in the Audis. That's something that could be tuned out as well. And of course, at the end of this video, we're gonna talk about the whole plan for the car. But I I love the crackles. I remember that in the R7s. That was a big thing when you uh, downshift. It was just like whoop pop 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 like it was just whoo the bitch whoo you got a rocket oh here we go and I swear it feels like it's spinning man could have sworn that sucker spun off the line it's so like gradual that it's like no <laughs> oh too late you can't let off like it's it's full speed man oh another cool thing about the audis it has rear wheel drive or rear wheel steering just like my sq7 did so uh like i said if you want to hear the nightmare for the last 48 hours i went through to get this thing to me i can tell you but they did uh damage one of the wheels as well while they were loading because well it has rear steering so it it's just a long story guys if you want to see a comment down below and of course i'll talk about all the headache that that went through and the worst experience i ever had of purchasing not purchasing the vehicle but having it transported and i found the transporter so i can't really blame nobody for that but i love it man i i, I can imagine this at the track being a wagon literally popping willies man like imagine a thousand horsepower and we're just ripping it off the street like off the line doing like 130 60 foot i would love to get this thing in like in the nines and the quarter so as being as heavy as it is it definitely has potential all german cars really do so let's park it guys and well let's talk about the full potential on the game plan for this car all right so we made it to the house guys uh this is the sq7 i was telling you about that literally has the same exact options as this one does same headlights which is super awesome Awesome. of course my star seats heated cool seats rear steering so uh, let's back it all the way into the garage and let me show you one more awesome feature and why i truly truly enjoy and love the audi so let's go ahead and slowly creep this bad boy in and with rear steering it's so easy to maneuver around things especially tight spots like we're driving in now god she does have a fat booty though i'm not gonna lie she is thick all right so in order for this next magic trick to happen let's go ahead and close the garage so wait for it guys wait for it as it gets dark inside the vehicle and of course when the uh, headlights come on oh my god look at the lighting guys it's the two-tone lighting you can absolutely set whatever colors you want in here there's so many different options so you got the red on here i love how the quattro lights up as well that is so freaking sick man I gotta say, this is so amazing. Like, I love this car so much. So let's go ahead and, uh, why is this car off? Turn it back on. Let's go pull it outside and then talk about, uh, of course, the final parts and the most important parts. And that is, what are we gonna do with this thing, man? Oh, I can't believe this is mine. That is so freaking sick. I love this car so much. I'm a huge wagon guy, I really am. So what is the plan with this one? First and foremost, exhaust. 100% getting exhaust done. Of course, we're gonna make this thing rowdy. It's gonna backfire. We're gonna get a tune through DS1 like we did last time. We're gonna get an intake system, which there's only one out there. And it's a carbon fiber one. Uh, it is quite up there in price, but it's definitely worth it. And of course, we're gonna get fuel pumps, E85, my goal for this rs6 wagon avant as they say it is to get it to a thousand horsepower if not more we're gonna max this bad boy out as much as possible because i truly truly love this car ladies and gentlemen this thing right there look at this there is no bad angle on that car whatsoever guys so i'm super excited to bring you a lot of content is going to be super amazing so now we've got four cars that we're building the f-150 truck i promise you is almost done guys i have been annoying john at mxa literally every week about that truck and it's literally a just a part situation it's just hard to get parts but if you love what you're seeing guys please i ask you that you click that like button comment down below because it does help the algorithm for a small little channel to explode that would be amazing guys that way more people can see this crazy content as we dump uh, a lot of money into these cars that we usually uh, can't get back but on the rs6 i will happily dump as much as it takes to make this bad boy go in the nine seconds and a quarter mile so thank you guys so much for watching enjoy your lives enjoy your cars and i will see you next time peace